let's take a look behind the scenes and explore a big question. How was ChatGPT actually trained? You see it respond in seconds, but getting to that point took years of research, millions of dollars and an unbelievable amount of data. Let's break it down, step by step. First comes something called pre-training. This is where it all begins. ChatGPT was trained on a massive collection of text, books, websites, Wikipedia pages, articles, forum posts, even open source code. Basically, anything written by humans that was available to use. Now here's what's important. The model didn't memorize these things. It didn't store web pages. It didn't save facts or exact sentences. Instead, it learned patterns. It learned how language works how words tend to appear next to each other, how ideas are structured in writing, and how humans usually respond to certain prompts. So, for example, if you say peanut butter and, it knows that jelly is a very likely word to come next. This is the core idea of pre-training, not memorizing, but predicting. And that prediction skill comes from patterns it saw in billions of sentences. So how does it actually learn? Great question. The model is built on something called a transformer, a special kind of deep learning neural network. During training, it's shown part of a sentence with a word or two hidden. Its job is to guess the missing word. If it gets it wrong, it adjusts millions of internal weights, tiny values inside the model and tries again. Then it does that again and again and again over time. It gets better, smarter, more fluent. That's how it builds its understanding, word by word, token by token. But just learning patterns isn't enough. So once pre-training is done, there's another phase called fine-tuning. This is where human reviewers step in. They take the raw model and help shape it to be more useful, more helpful and safer. They guide it by showing good examples correcting bad ones and helping it follow instructions more clearly. This is how the model learns to be polite, to avoid toxic replies and to follow your prompts accurately. You can think of it like teaching a very smart student how to behave in a real conversation. But there's one more step. After fine tuning, the model goes through something called reinforcement learning. This part is based on human feedback too, but now the model is given multiple possible answers to the same question. Then humans rank those answers best, second best and so on. The model learns from those rankings and adjusts itself to produce better responses in the future. This is a huge reason ChatGPT sounds so natural in conversation. It's been trained on how real people prefer real answers. Now let's clear up a few common myths. ChatGPT does not learn from your chat in real time. It doesn't remember your personal messages unless memory is turned on and that's optional. It doesn't search the web. It doesn't update itself live and it doesn't know the world like a human. It only knows what it learned before it was deployed. That's what makes it fast and surprisingly useful. Let's recap the full training process. First, it was pre-trained on huge amounts of public text. This gave it a deep understanding of language. Then, it was fine-tuned by humans. This helped it follow instructions and stay safe. Finally, it learned from human feedback on what makes a good answer and used that to improve how it responds. That's how ChatGPT was trained and that's what powers everything it can do today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next session.